Our fact checkers can confirm that this is true. What is true? You have made a video that contains swearing. Oh, that's truth. fake news. Audience, don't listen to him. It's fake news. My middle name is literally family friendly. The official Roblox presidential debate between Creedcraft and Pork has officially just commenced, and oh boy, there's a lot to talk about. Yeah, uh, he totally wasn't like five days ago or anything. Yeah, I'm totally. <laughs> In all seriousness though, I am sorry I'm like dead late to this. I've been very lazy recently, so that's why I haven't been talking about the Innovation Awards. So let me just explain it in case you're confused. So basically the Innovation Awards is, it's pretty much like, you know how in, in real life we have the election, the British election and the American election, or just, well any election really in, in the world. Well that's basically what the Roblox Innovation Awards is. You join the game, you vote for which game you like the most, and which Roblox YouTuber you like the most. But what Roblox has done this year to make things a little bit more interesting and to spice it up, because a lot of these events have just been the complete same thing over and over again. They've actually added items to make it a bit more fun, so the players can also do more things than just vote. But come on, this is the Roblox community we're talking about. There's always a drama, and everyone's always got something to complain about. Now, I don't want to get too much into the drama because that's just a whole other rabbit hole for another video. I'm just mainly focused on Creek vs. Pork today because I think it's pretty interesting. And at the end of the day, it's all only laughs and jokes. It's nothing too serious. The debate was being hosted by Devan, and can I just say, how the hell is this guy not a million subscribers yet? Like, this guy is so underrated. I've been watching him since the beginning of Piggy. He started off doing Piggy meme reviews. Then he did Piggy Avatar reviews. He's done everything related to Piggy. So yeah, go and support this Australian dude out. Make sure to subscribe to him and like some of his videos. We're just, just trying to support him as much as possible. I mean, I don't know about these cringy thumbnails though. <laughs> so the debate kicks off. CNN, video star of the year debate. Creecraft versus Pork. Creecraft is the Democrat. And Pork is the Republican. So right now, looks like I'm voting for Pork. And can I just say, this music is banging. There he is, our Australian lad. We've got all the people in the crowd. I don't think they actually allowed people in the crowd this year. Oh, we've got George Pag. We've got George Pag in the bottom corner. That's what he calls him. By the way, I didn't come up with that name. You know what? For once, uh, I'm a, I'm a pet you. What a good boy. What a good boy. Oh, by the way, yeah, Gorge Pag, will you be able to tell if I'm going to get skin cancer from this? Look at this ma mega sunburn. That is some crazy sunburn. Gorge Pag. You, you ask your uh, YouTube doctor if you, th this is needs medical attention. Tell me, Gorge Pag. Coming straight from the OG Roblox YouTube club, we have Poke on the right side. This man is a Bloxburg and role, uh, Brookhaven role player who has an absolute penchant for amazing roleplay videos. And on the other side, we have Creekcraft. I am your moderator for this debate. My name is Devon, and let's get straight into it. Such an epic intro. My name is Poke. Thank you all so much for nominating me. I really appreciate it. And for the choice to debate Creekcraft, I think this is going to be a great time. I really want to hear a lot of things he has to say. So again, thank you so much. My name is Poke. I do Roblox content. Been here for a long time, not going anywhere anytime soon. And yeah, I make great content and uh, I want to be video star for the year. Thank you, Mr. Poke. Very good words. Uh, Mr. Creekcraft, your one minute. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Creecraft. I've been a uh, video star creator for a while now, since the late years of 2016. Really grown up with this platform, and I'm honored to be nominated for Video Star of the Year. I'm excited to be debating my uh, my friend here, Poke, and uh, I'm excited to see your questions and answer some questions from the audience today. Okay, can we just take a minute to appreciate what Creek is wearing right now? He's got the full American flag right here. He's got the MLG, well, not quite the MLG shades, but these are some pretty nice shades. He's got his official Creecraft hat and his orange hair. Dude, I swear Creek changes his hair every time I see him. At one point, it was brown. At one point, it was pink. At one point, I think it was blue. At one point, he shaved it all off. And then now it's orange. Like, dude, Creek, chill out on the bleach. But let's start with the matter most important 
to your Roblox voter bases. This was voted as the most important topic, and it is the category of cringe and brain rot content. Mr. Creecraft, Mr. Pope yes. recently took a jab at your Innovation Awards tweet, mentioning, quote, brother, you react to Skibbity Toilet. This is an angle that many opposed to your nomination are attacking you from. Reasons include Skibbity Toilet is cringe and Skibbity Toilet is brain rotting the next generation. Do you agree with these reasons? And how should the audience take this into consideration when casting their vote? You have two minutes. You know, I, I don't agree with those reasons. And it's actually really funny he mentioned that because I was scrolling through his channel and I noticed a few Skibbity Toilet Bloxburg roleplay videos on there. So kind of funny he calls me out for something he's done himself. Uh, to answer the audience's question, though, on whether or not I think Skibbity Toilet is brain rot, you know, Whenever I was growing up 10, 15 years ago, we used to watch really dumb videos. That was like dumb Shrek videos. We had the MLG uh, Doritos meme. There's always been brain rot content, right? I think now people just kind of make fun of it because Gen Z's growing up, Gen Alpha's coming in, right? And uh, it's just kind of not the current generation's thing, but... No, I don't think it's ruining the uh, the next generation to, to answer your question. Now, personally, this topic is very important to get my vote. And you guys, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm honest with you all on this channel. Skibbity Toilet, it's trash. It's garbage. And I'm going to get a lot of hate for that. But it's the truth. It is brain rot. And I, I can understand Craig's perspective here. He says that, you know, when he was younger, he had lots of... Um, well, quote unquote brain rotting things like MLG. MLG to me, not very brain rotting. Skibbity toilet is. Because at the end of the day it's human heads coming out of toilets, singing cringy sh cringy songs. The word skibbity is cringy. The word sigma is cringy. All of these words and it's all because of Gen Z. All of these it, it's just it is brain rotting. And because the amount of kids I say I see at school who are obsessed with it. It's like, are you are you a baby? Are you five years old? Like, this is the dumbest show ever. For those who've been living under a rock for the past year, this is Skibbity Toilet. This is what kids are obsessed with these days. Uh, Mr. Polk, do you have any response to this? <clears throat> yes, I do. So, yes, I have done a Skibbity Toilet video, as, you know, it is a trend. But the difference is, I've done one, not 73 parts of reacting to it. He's literally milking the series. He's reacted to 75 episodes of it 75 it is pretty brain rot in my opinion I've done 23 people... reactions that's not true okay well, objection 23... okay well no that's fine 23 is more than one for sure but i will say i think it's brain rot and i do actually agree with creek on that yes when we grew up we had a few things that we'd consider a little bit to be brain rot but i mean Come on, especially in this new shorts era where our brains are, you know, becoming the attention span of a goldfish and even less, to be honest. I mean, come on, these 30 second videos and it is worse than it's ever been. The brain rot and everyone can agree here. It is the worst it's ever been, especially with the shorts on YouTube, Instagram reels, TikToks, etc. But as I've said, I mean, yes, I think it is brain rot and that's why I haven't really done it too much. And yeah, I think uh Personally, we have a lot to look out for, especially in this next generation. It's getting worse and worse. Do you disagree with this? Yeah, I disagree with it because I won't, I won't win that award. Very good, Mr. Creek. Mr. Polk, do you have a response to that? Yes, I do. Personally, I agree with him. I don't think that just because you've won once doesn't mean you can't win again. I mean, come on, that's, that's pretty stupid, to be honest. I think you can win as many times as you'd like. And I do agree. In those piggy years, he killed it. He did great. I mean, he left it. He, you know, he ate it up like a shark, as, you know, my diss track said. That's okay. You know, trends happen. It's more than okay if you wanted to, you know, ditch Mini Tune in the dust. Thank you, uh, Mr. Moderator, Park. I'd like to interject. I never left Mini Tune in the dust. In fact, we Snapchat each other daily. He is still my Pookie oh. Bear. And literally, we were just talking last night while I was in the bubble bath. Seriously, no rebuttal there. I mean, still thinking about how he said he was in the bubble bath talking to Mini Tune, but we, we could ignore that. That's, it's, it's fine. Wait, wait, Craig was in the bathtub with Mini Turn. Where was my invite? So this debate went on for like another good hour. I'm not going to react to the full thing. I already have. So if you guys want to see it, I'll leave a link in the description below. But the question is, who am I going to vote for? And to me, it's kind of easy. And you guys can probably already tell. As much as I love Creek, 
as much as he's done for the PE community, as much as I loved watching him in lockdown, I have to go with Puck here. Whenever I think of Puck, I think of his nostalgic videos when he did Bloxburg and all that, before he did Brookhaven. And you have to respect that he's an OG, he's a veteran, he's been on Roblox since 2008, so vertically the beginning of Roblox. Because you know Quig's going to get loads of votes anyways. Quig's like the most popular Roblox YouTuber. So, Quig's probably going to win anyways. Because he's got a hundred thousands. He's got... Quig's going to win either way. But I just want to vote for Pork to show him my support. And basically my thank you for everything he's done. And remember, this is all just fun and games at the end of the day. You know, you see all of this drama on Twitter. And it's just like, come on, can we all just have a good laugh for once? Like, just grow up and just enjoy it. Because the people who complain about all of this are the same exact people who always mourn when it's gone. So just enjoy it while it lasts. That's my advice for today. But who are you going to be voting for? Let me know down in the comments below. I think voting closes. It's probably already closed by the time you all watch this. So quickly, go and vote at the Innovation Awards. It is closing very shortly. Like I said, probably already closed now. I've already done my vote, so yeah, thank you all for watching, I'll see you on the next one, and maybe I'll do a reaction, a full stream to the Innovation Awards night, and I might wear a suit. So yeah, see you all then, David Bazuki, if you're watching this, I want to be picked as the next video star of the week, because come on, where's my invite, like this is a joke.